what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? DC police on Friday released new body cam video that shows the intense moment that an officer was kidnapped while trying to dun, 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 stop an armed suspect. The incident unfolded in the 700 block of Kennedy Street Northwest last Friday. The video shows the officer's perspective as he tried to enter the suspect's vehicle through the back seat. The suspect drives off with the officer still inside, advancing for about two to three blocks. In the video, the officer can be heard frantically telling the suspect, put the car in park. At the same time, the suspect can be heard pleading with the officer, please don't shoot me. The officer eventually shoots the suspect before jumping out of the car. D.C. police do not have video of the initial contact officers made with the suspect. Police have since identified him as 35-year-old Natango Robinson. Officers were told by residents that a man matching Robinson's description was chasing another man with a gun. When they found Robinson and after one officer felt a gun, a struggle ensued between Robinson and the officers and Robinson ran away into an alley where he hopped into a black Jeep. The officers ran after Robinson. They tried to get him to get out of the car to no avail. So one of the officers, this is where it really gets interesting. One of the officers decides to leap into the back seat and Robinson drove off prompting the cop to eventually shoot him. Where is Robinson right now? In the graveyard. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he survived. Uh, he's still in the hospital, though. The cop hops and he leaps into the back seat of the vehicle to get him to stop the car. Don't... Uh, uh, uh. Why? I don't know what dude was thinking, but based on police activity over the last several years, especially, he would have been dead in most cases. Absolutely amazing that he lived to tell the story. I wonder why. Why would he try to get away? It ain't like he was going to get away. You know, I think like if you're going to run, like you should run with the possibility of getting away. It's like don't just run just to run. Like run to try to get away. It reminds me of the dude, what's that dude? Uh, the dude tried to, the dude didn't have any legs. The police was after him. He tried to run from the police with no legs. And then there was this white chick that was like in this little country town and she was on, it looked like some type of, I don't know, it looked like a, well, it wasn't a farm, but it was just a house with a, some acreage. And the police rolled up on her and tried to arrest her. And she tried to run, but she was running in slow motion, almost like back in the day. I don't know if y'all used to watch that wrestling back in the day, Jose Lothario and all them type of people. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Da, da. Yeah, it was like slow motion, real slow motion. She was like running and the cop almost looked like the cop could have ran backwards and caught her. I mean, I feel like if you're going to run, run with the possibility of getting away. Like, don't just run to run. In most cases these days, especially, you're probably going to get probably going get, to get your noodles now. The tango better be glad they didn't turn him into mango. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah.